Greetings! Welcome to Bruce's Eclectic World. In today's video, we want to do an unboxing of this uh, G. Franger Rubicon for uh, Cards' Scale Dreams Off-Road Group Build. Yeah, well, I have a hard time remembering things, so I wrote it on the side. Uh, <laughs> oh, you know. Uh, this group bill has already started because it started June the 1st and it goes to December. So, we got some time yet, but we're going to do an unboxing today. You just seen the, uh, entry video, so I thought it'd be time to do an unboxing just kind of right after that so we can get started on messing with it tonight. Maybe. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and get it opened up here. This is the one that... Chris Chapman used for his uh, Semi Cheeseburger 48 hour group build many years ago. So, uh, this is going to be a short unboxing. I mean, there's the windshield glass, you know, and the two chrome pieces. This is kind of like a snap kit in a way. I built one of these. Uh, like I stated in the other video, they, they, they are a cute little kit. Uh, I mean, there, there's your kit, basically. There's the interior. Oh, me, interior right there. And uh, there's your body. I mean, there's no engine. There's a plug that goes in there. Uh, We'll, we'll take them out because, sure, why not? There's your front end or rear end part. Need a box. Need a bag. A bag. Stuff, stuff it right back in the box, Bruce. Why not? We're going to open it. You play with that for a while anyway. And there's, there's the uh, chassis, like I said, it's just got a plug in it. Whoop. And there's the uh, grill work and stuff. Let's, uh, somewhere on there is a light button. Okay, we turned the overhead light on, see if that's any better. There we go. Move us over here. Maybe that would help. There's your wipers, your grill, and your horns, and mirrors. That's the breather. And uh, there's your door handles, fuel cap. And there's your bumpers and uh, kick plates. Goes on, goes on the side of the van, uh, unit. And then we. Now this is different than the last one I built. That did not have this type of front end on it. Uh, not sure what that is. Uh, I think that's a skid plate. Roll bars. Maybe. We'll find out. There's either the front end or the rear end. Let's see what else we got in here. Uh, there's all your springs and axles and the screws to screw it together. <laughs> yep, it's a screw bottom. Imagine that. We have uh, all of our seats and stuff. Stuff that back in there. And there's our interior panels. Steering wheel, grab handle, and that's the other part of the steering wheel. That's kind of interesting. Um, this, is, this is the transfer case. And the, and the exhaust system 
gear shift lever, emergency brake lever, and then those are your license plates. Not, and that's part of the uh, windshield frame. And uh, there's the dash panel, such as it is. How it has the pedals molded in on. Not much detail on the radial step, but there's a decal that goes there. And I don't remember what that is right off the top of my noggin. And here's the other parts of the row cage. Uh, the rest of the... That's part of the headlights, I think. And then the fender flares. And then we got the tires. Uh, I bagged them up. I may or may not be using these tires. Not sure yet. We may or may not. <clears throat> Throw them right back in the box. And then we have some various, various decals. I don't. I think the only thing that I used the last time was the said Rubicon on it, and the one for the windshield, and that was it. But this one might be a little different. You know, we might make it a park ranger for before. Hey, why not? It's an idea. You know, it's, it's an off-road group build. Well, doesn't the right ranger? Are the rangers driving an off-road vehicle? Sure they do. Uh, we're going to paint it to... Um, With chrome silver as a base, and then, uh, I don't remember, I'll have to look, at, see what I wrote down, but anyway, I may have to change the decals, <laughs> thinking. Um, get this out of the way. Of course, and here's the instructions. I mean... Typical Revell instructions. I mean, these Revell kits are just awesome. I'm already on eBay looking for another one of these. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just, I'm just doing it. I don't know. It's an obsession. Kind of like my Corvettes. I'm not a Corvette guy, but I got like 12 of them. I don't know. You tell me. Uh... Of course, then it shows your spring setup, and these do. This is functional spring setup. <laughs> so that's that's kind of cool. Now you want when you do these, you don't want there's these two struts here. If you don't want to paint those, and you don't you don't want to paint inside where they go through, or, or you you sand it out so they move up down because because paint will uh, stop them from moving. Ask me how I know that. <laughs> uh, one could drill out the hose in the frame just a little bit bigger. Does it allow for paint? I just took the paint off and left the white plastic. I mean, yeah, it's noticeable. I'll say that. It's noticeable. But sitting on my shelf, no, who's going to notice? And there's some more. Oh, that's the, back, that's the back seat. That's what that was. Uh, like I said, I may or may not use these wheels. I haven't decided yet. And like I said, there's, that's the speakers. That's what that is. <laughs> they haven't changed this kit much from the old one to the new one. Oh, mine didn't have that. That's what those are. Those are step bars. Ah, nice. I don't think mine had the light bar either. That's even more awesome. So. I think uh, Chris took pinheads, drilled those out, put pinheads in. You know, safety pinheads, straight pinheads. That was kind of a cool touch. Um, I 
winch. That's what that was. Backside of the winch. All right. Uh, there you. Ha there it is. I mean, there's the four before. So well, it looks like a safari truck, doesn't it? This plain Jeep, and then there's uh, the Ranger side. Anyway, that's uh, going to be the unboxing of our uh, Jeep Wrangler Rubicon <laughs> brain fart. Talk about brain for cars, a uh, uh, group build, off road group build. So, we're going to get started on this tonight. We're going to start trimming stuff off. We got a, a live we're going to do or join in on and that's the fun part of the lives is you can sit there and talk and model and just have a good time. Anyway, save us. don't lose these. You can't put this thing together. And there it is. It's 9 o'clock. <laughs> Moto always wants in on the fun. So it's be kind to your neighbors. You don't know when you're going to see them again. Save the fingers. Keep modeling your way. Not somebody else's way. Do it your way. Stay safe. Be care take, take care, my friends. And thank you to all my subscribers. And the service people, too. See you in the next video. Bye.